Okay, today I want to quickly show you assembly views. And the easiest way to do that is to actually show it to you within the web application here. So I've already logged into the web app. And in the top right, I'm going to do a quick search for a particular part number, BD004. Now you'll see that instead of a single item being returned, we actually have two items returned, one within the detailed drawings library and one within the assembly views library. The assembly views library is a special library that can't be deleted or renamed. So if an, if an assembly view is automatically generated for you, it will be located in the assembly views library. Now if we just view the drawing, you'll see this is a standard drawing. You can view previous revisions. You got all the normal capabilities that you have when, when you view a drawing on Flutter files. But if you notice, this is actually an assembly, and you can tell this easily because at the top left, there's a bill of materials. And this bill of materials references each individual drawing um, that is needed to make this particular assembly. Now, typically, you would view this item, and then you would need to view each individual item, BD001, 2, and 3, and maybe print them all out or put them together into a single PDF file, whatever it may be. You don't just need the BD004. You need each item within it as well as the top level item. Now within Flutter files, we can detect these assemblies from the drawings if you're using SolidWorks or Inventor. We can then process that model uh, data and then co find each corresponding drawing for the part or assembly contained within the assembly that we're processing. And so what we do is we automatically generate a PDF containing each individual item within the assembly. So when you view the assembly view, you see the same first page, exactly the exact same with the bill of materials at the top left. But if you scroll down, you'll see that BD001 is automatically added to this particular assembly view. And then you scroll down a little bit more and you'll see BD002 and so on. So this works with very large assemblies and is a huge time saver because instead of having to go to each item within the bill of materials, imagine if this bill of materials was 100 items long and you, someone in production or maybe your external vendor had to look up each one of these drawings or find the corresponding file for each one of these drawings, that would be very time consuming. With Flutter files, we use the fact that we're processing your drawings in SolidWorks, uh, creating the PDFs for you. We can also extract all of that model information such that we can generate these assembly views automatically without you having to do anything else. Now some companies don't do a lot of assemblies. This isn't a big portion of their of the reason that they need Flutter files and that's perfectly fine. It doesn't cost you anything. It's not nothing extra. They're automatically generated on the server after all your files are being uploaded so it doesn't even slow down the upload process in any way. But if you do need this, this is a huge time saver uh, and is very, very powerful. Now, I want to show you a couple specifics. Um, if you are viewing an item and you want to view the assembly views for it, you can just right click on the item and you can say view assemblies. And that'll take you to a search that's only going to show the assembly views for that particular item. An item may have multiple assembly views because it may be contained in multiple different uh, locations within multiple different assemblies. Um, so it's, there's lots of different capabilities and reasons why there might be multiple assembly views. If you right click on an assembly view though, you'll see two options here, hierarchy and top hierarchy. If you click on hierarchy, you'll see the specific hierarchy for that item. So we see our BD004 at the top, and then it contains this one, two, three, and additional children. If you right click again and go to top hierarchy and click on BD006, this will show the parent for BD004 and show that it's actually located in this BD006. Now once again, this BD004 may be contained in other assemblies, at which point when you, when you, when you click on top hierarchy, it will list multiple items there. So this is very powerful and allows you to quickly explore. And this bottom left hand side is a way to quickly explore, explore the hierarchy uh, within your different top assemblies. So this shows automatically the top assemblies that are contained within your account. You can click on one and it will show that full hierarchy. If you click on the assembly there, it will lay, load that full uh, hierarchy and you can scroll through um, and find the items you want. If you right click on one of the items within this, you can click on view drawings. Another thing you can do is you can click on show placeholders and this will show any placeholder within the assembly view. Now, what is a placeholder? A placeholder is automatically added to your assembly view for each item contained within the assembly that does not have a corresponding drawing. So typically for purchase parts or maybe you know specific items, 
you didn't actually create a drawing. It's very normal. You're not going to create a drawing for every bolt, washer, nut, etc. But those items contained within the assembly view, and Flatter Files is aware of them. So it goes ahead and generates a placeholder. Placeholder is just a, a bookmark. It's just a reference. It doesn't actually do anything except for, very importantly, it allows you to add additional content to the assembly view. So if you have some reference content, some instructions, uh, uh, a supplier documentation, vendor documentation, then you can drag and drop. Of course, viewers can't do this, but if you have access to do this, you can drag and drop uh, an item onto from your drawings library or your documents library onto that placeholder and add it to the assembly view so it's always with it uh, no matter where it goes. So once again, uh, assembly views are very powerful. Uh, they can save you a lot of time. And um, let, let, if you have any questions, by all means, let us know if there's anything we can do uh, to provide more information for you.